Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to yet another insert better name here video of my special thing. So yeah, here we are going to fight. I know the giant rat doesn't seem very interesting, but I wanted to show you this because, in all honesty, I never actually fought this before. This being my fourth playthrough, and but because usually I just sit there with a bow and arrow, shooting arrows at him like the jerk that I am, not actually fighting. But I actually wanted to give it a go. So this is actually the first time I've ever fought the rat, and here we go. A little jumping attack there, hoping for some good damage. Forgot I'm using the Painted World Guardian Sword, so it doesn't really do a lot. But trying f I have literally no idea what his moves are, so I'm just flailing around. Oh, there's his first move on me. Takes off some nice damage. Just, just not, not even close to avoiding his, his attacks at all. <laughs> it's quite bad. I must point out though, in my, because I'm trying to use the dual swords, sometimes I do pull out the bow and arrow in very, very specific situations, but for bosses and most interesting fights, I never do. So in specific situations, I do. But so there's that. That was pretty quick, I know, but I just want to show it because that was literally the first time I ever fought him with hand-to-hand -hand combat. So we'll quickly move on to the, the gaping dragon now. And thanks. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the next challenge in my Dark Souls playthrough. This is the Gaping Dragon, or like, really, he is just a giant Galgamac Vagina, let's be honest, he is one of the more blatant Galgamac Vaginas you'll see in a video game. But, yeah, so, he's not too hard, this is, this is the first fight on this playthrough, so that gives you any indication, no spoils. But he's not too bad. Use attack patterns, there's only... If you keep your distance, there's only one real attack that'll actually give you any trouble. But I know there is the... Um, you can hit him in the head as... get some extra damage there, but I didn't... Like, like right there, I could have just walked up his, to his head and just wailed on him. And really, I don't know why. I thought at the time I didn't want to risk it, but <laughs> as I look back at this, it's just like, yeah, might as well do it. I mean, he's, he's only doing this one attack. It's pretty easy to tell him, so I should have really just had a go. But yes, yeah, I, I must say the the intro, the cutscene that I usually don't give a crap about cutscenes, but the cutscene to this boss fight is actually probably my favourite cutscene of the game. Not that there are a, lo a lot of them, but I thought it was pretty cool watching the gaping dragon emerge like that. Just thinking you're going to fight this snake thing and then having this gigantic thing come at you. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, just wailing on him as usual. Getting that <laughs> guardian sword. Oh, heavy attack in there. Don't know if you saw that. Freaking... Oh, I love the heavy attack animation for this weapon, but it's just... It's just not worth doing. It really isn't. There's like... I find there's a pretty good chance to miss with the, because like it's a two-stroke thing, and I find it's a pretty pretty high chance of missing with that second stroke. Maybe I'm just not very good at using it, but I do love watching. I do want to be as badass as possible, so I'll throw it in there every now and then. There it is again. Let's see, maybe I'm just talking at my ass. It's really not as hard as I'm making it out to be. I'm just doing his stump attack. I'm getting as as far away as possible and. <laughs> Probably a bit too safe, but it really doesn't matter. Feeling pretty good about this one, I mean. He's just doing that same attack over and over. I mean, like, is that. That's one thing about this. Sometimes you can get certain bosses stuck in loops of doing certain specific attacks, which you will also see on later. And, like, do you want that? Because, like, it's kind of easy, but then do you want it really to be easy? I kind of prefer to do different attacks, but then you see here, oh crap, it's the acid! I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just hover about here, it'll be fine. So I think that's, that was the only real danger I got put in, and you can tell I haven't been, haven't been hit yet. Also, you might notice my, my damage is sort of dropping a little bit compared to most bosses I've been fighting. And uh, towards the end, <laughs> as the video goes on, you'll you'll definitely notice my sword doing less and less damage. This is just oh, uh, oh god! Just if you stick with the series, you'll just at the start you're probably thinking, oh, there's not enough happening, like it's too quick, and then by the end you'll just be begging for it to be over. Like 
So yeah, he's I, I'm just going for his back leg, I'm not sure why, and then oh, don't know which leg. Oh, he's moving. Just kinda confused. Running with him. Just admiring admiring my running style there. With my hat. Such a good hat. Hoping to finish here. Nice heavy attack. Not gonna happen. Does his jumping. Hopefully should be just one more of these. Sludge again. I'm thinking I'm alright here. Oh, it just keeps coming. Oh, shit. But it's all good. I'll just easily avoid his last attack here. Or is it his last attack? Maybe he'll kill me. I don't know. I don't know, guys. This could, this, could, this could go anywhere, let's be honest. I mean, you're probably looking at the time thinking, oh, he's going to finish it. Maybe he's going to one-shot me. But no, I'm... Oh, fire. Look at the fire. Oh, cool effects. And it's over. But, uh, still, still not praising the sun. Not that you can see it, but still gonna try, man. You always gotta praise. Gotta respect that sun. Sunbur. So yeah, there's, there's that boss fight. I know, still not that interesting, but just, just trust me, it'll, it'll pick up eventually. And uh, thanks for watching. And now we'll move on to the next one. Cheers, guys. All girls. And if you're still watching, thanks everyone.